so just to put sort of diesel uh, diesel generators in perspective uh, in the UK, and this is I stress these are UK numbers only. Uh, that we have a population of about sixty five million, uh, so you can uh, increase these proportionately. I, I suppose uh, non road mobile machinery or those off road engines account for around. Uh, 5 billion liters of diesel burnt every year uh, and diesel uh, diesel generators is about a fifth of that so but we're talking about 1 billion liters of diesel uh, burnt in about 125,000 UK generators and that produces about 3.6 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent uh, per year and the the challenge i think that a lot of diesel users has is that they can't they can't get away with this anymore so let's take festivals and events for example f1 you know the attendees uh, and the people who are, are watching these events all over the world are demanding cleaner and green uh, greener and cleaner setups so you've got these environmentally conscious uh, customers but also there's almost an air quality duty of care to events where you've got lots of uh, uh, paying customers and members of the public around that people are really now getting to uh, getting to understand the danger of uh, locally produced um, pollution let's say that you may get from for example NOx and particulate particulates from the back of a, a diesel generator. And also, obviously, even if it's burning HVO, you still get those same air quality challenges. Uh, there are also sort of benefits into construction as well. And we see construction as a, as, as a major industry coming forward. So a lot of construction firms have a net zero targets of 2035, 2045. But the fact that they are so huge, that their scale means they need to start transitioning now and working with the hydrogen industry now to ensure that those solutions in the future are available for them when they really need to scale up uh, and obviously a lot of them are also publicly listed as well so you've got shareholders and stakeholders sort of forcing uh, a uh, a policy of, of, of co3 reduction as well uh, another one for construction is working within uh, within cities as well with clean air zone compliance so again that's about the uh, the um about respecting those sort of uh, uh the the pollution on location challenges that, that come with diesel or uh, or uh, or HBO use and then finally and this is an interesting one film and tv so film and tv silence on set is really really important and that's one of the benefits of for example one of the technologies the fuel cells have that they're very very quiet compared to uh, the big rumble or roar of a diesel generator let's say so sound sensitive locations the technology that converts hydrogen back into electricity is actually also of real interest to a lot of these customers too